Brian and I have put together seven tips to help Scrum Masters facilitate effective sprint reviews. The first tip is to be prepared. That's a great place to start. How you prepare for the sprint review depends on your role. The Scrum Master's responsibility is to make sure the event happens and that participants understand its purpose. The product owner is responsible for inviting the right stakeholders with enough notice. Enough notice is key. Yes, and developers are responsible for preparing the increment with necessary artifacts and metrics. Whatever your role, just don't over-prepare. There's no need to create slide decks for sprint reviews. Absolutely not. Tip two involves assisting the team in showcasing their work. For example, if a team member's work involves something like cleaning up a database, they might struggle with the best way to show the completed work. As a facilitator, you can encourage them to think about the impact of their work. For instance, if cleaning up the database improved page load times, they can demonstrate that improvement during the review. The third tip is to make the agenda visible from the start of the event. This keeps the meeting focused by ensuring everyone knows what to expect. A clear agenda helps the team and stakeholders stay on track. Effective facilitation encourages stakeholders to participate in future sprint reviews because they appreciate the organization and clarity. And you want them to keep participating. I have no doubt people come back to your sprint review time and time again. They do. Our fourth tip, balance the demo with discussion. Working software is obviously important, mm. but Spro Review is a collaborative working session, not just a presentation. Use this time to discuss what was accomplished during the sprint, what wasn't completed, and the impact of decisions made. Our next tip is to foster constructive feedback. It's helpful for Scrum teams to welcome input, recognize that it isn't personal, and thank stakeholders for their participation and feedback. To set the right tone, the facilitator could provide guidance at the start of the meeting on how to give constructive feedback. Thank you, Brian. Tip six is simply to celebrate both the progress and what the team has learned. Remember, learning what doesn't work is also progress. You can create a celebratory atmosphere with small gestures like snacks or visuals to mark the event. Also, you can highlight achievements and show how sprint accomplishments link to larger organizational objectives. So true, learning how their work impacts the goals of the organization Big are difference. powerful. Finally, stay focused on continuous improvement. Facilitators should reflect on how to increase engagement and participation in future sprint reviews. Discuss those improvement opportunities in the sprint retrospective. We hope these tips will help make your next sprint review even more effective. And we'll see you next time on All Access Agile.